Happy holidays. I miss talking to you guys. It's been a minute since my face has been on the front side of this camera. My last two videos was a scenic drive video up the beautiful Oregon coast, which is one of my favorite places to explore. I do have more footage coming. It's not going to be a scenic drive, but I'm exploring some of the places that I pass on my way up north on that beautiful, stunning, breathtaking coast that I love so much. So yeah, those videos are coming soon. And if you haven't had a chance to check them out, please do. The videos are relaxing. Um, the drive on the Oregon coast is beautiful, so I think you enjoy. And I also had some really great music, at least on the first video. I had some great music that I enjoyed. I've watched that video probably about 20 times because I enjoy the scenic drive and also enjoy the music that I put with that video. So please make sure you check it out. And I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I decided last minute to ditch the holiday. I didn't cook. I didn't decorate. Drove up to one of my favorite beaches in California, which is Coronado Beach. The weather was perfect. High 70s, light wind. I couldn't ask for a better Thanksgiving. I end up eating um, McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's was my dinner. I had a deluxe chicken sandwich, which was nice, but it was yeah, it was a great way to enjoy the holiday. Those of you that don't know, I've been on sabbatical since November 1st through December 31st. I share with you guys in a later video what I've been up to. It sent me a text message, a phone call. I know I haven't responded because I am on sabbatical. I wanted the last 61 days of this year to be as relaxing as possible. I didn't want to do anything but craft and I've been doing a lot of crafting projects, which I will share some of that with you in this video. I was going to ditch Christmas as well until I got probably over a dozen comments from you guys expressing excitement to see my Christmas. Christmas decoration video. I had a change of heart and I am going to decorate for you guys today. So I was decisive if I wanted to go with the red and plaid print that I did the year before last. But then I wasn't feeling that and I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do this year? And so I thought about doing the green thing that I did last year. So it was green frosted trees and I thought about going with that this year, but I really wasn't feeling it. My new decorations was not in my budget this year. So I wanted to thank Reggie. Appreciate you. I have some new decorations uh, for this year and I'm really excited about it. So let me quit rambling on. I'm just so excited to be on the front side of this camera. I really have missed you guys so much. I needed the break. I really did. And I've talked about that in previous videos that I was burnt out and that I needed this time to relax. And that's what I've been doing. Relaxing, doing crafting projects, binge watching movies, and just enjoying being still. So like I said, I won't talk about it in this video. I share with you in upcoming videos but let me show you my decorations and again thank you so much Reggie for making this video possible I love my decorations so let me show you those if you guys follow my channel long enough you know I love color and I always go with traditional colors for the holiday but this year I'm doing something different <laughs> I have color, <laughs> lots and lots of color. No green trees this year. So this is my Christmas tree. And these are some little things to go on the table. And then I have garland. look how cute this pillow is i love it it is so colorful oh and it's so soft so soft um one of the projects that i'm going to show you today i am making a pillow well let me rephrase that i've been making a pillow it's been taking me probably about a week to get it done and that's what's taken so long to put this video together because i needed to finish the pillow before i can start decorating so i have small little section on the pillow that i need to finish but i wanted to show you guys that that's why this video is late because i need to work on that pillow <gasps> whoa don't fall. <laughs> and look at my little reindeer. How cute is she? <laughs> Isn't she a doll? 
I love it. Okay, so there's a few more things in the bag and I'll show you those once I start putting the decoration in place. So, but before then, I need to make the rest of my pillow. So I will show you guys that. But yeah, I'm so excited to have all of this color in my van. I love color. It makes me so happy. Who else out there loves color? Comment below. I want to know if you're a person that loves color. This is the pillow that I've been working on. You can see I have this section that I need to finish. I wanted to show you guys this. This pillow I made a few months back when I added more color to my van. I purchased a yard of material from Hobby Lobby. So it only cost me, I think about $6 for all of this material. And I've been able to make two pillows. The yarn I already had, so I didn't have any expense there. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this pillow, which is so easy. So after you sew your pillow, and I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to sew a, sew a pillow, but after you sew your pillow, um, the only thing that you will need is some yarn, some glue, and cardboard. And I'll talk to you about the cardboard in just a second. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but someone... Someone asked me in a previous video, what do I do with my pillows, like when I decorate, because if you follow my channel long enough, you know that I love decorating. I keep all of my old pillows. So these are all previous pillows that I've used. And this is the green from last year. So I keep all of my pillows and I take the stuffing out of them. So I cut like a small slit in the pillow. I remove all of the stuffing fold them up and store them away and whenever I get ready to use the pillows again I purchase um, a bed pillow from Walmart they're like $2.98 depending on what state you're in and I use the stuffing from that pillow to refill these pillows pillows are very expensive so I do not throw my pillows away I just remove the stuffing out of them fold them up and store them until I get ready to use them again so when I made this pillow that's what I used was the stuffing um, from previous pillows. And I'm trying to see, camera may not be able to pick it up, but there is a small little slip. Let's see, I don't think the camera's picking up and I'm gonna have to move the camera so you guys can see me make this other pillow. But you can see a small little slit that I left open. And that's what I used to stuff, you know, the pillow and then just sew it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I see a little piece, a little strag. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because it's at the bottom of the pillow. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna have to move the camera um, in order for you guys to be able to see this pillow. I was hoping I can sit and you guys can see me work on it, but it's not gonna work out like that. Not a lot of space in this van. <laughs> Not a lot of space, so let me move it so you can see what I'm doing. After you determine the length you want the yarn or your shag to be on the pillow, fold it in half, and then that's the width you cut your cardboard to. Make about 20 pieces, 7 inches each, and wrap the yarn around it. Secure it with stick pins to hold it in place. Glue it to the pillow, cut, and repeat the process. I recommend the 7 inch strips. I started off with about uh, 12 inch strips and the glue was drying too fast <laughs> before I had a chance to put it down on the fabric. So that's why I recommend shorter pieces of cardboard to work with. So it's taken me probably about a week to work on this pillow. It can be done in one day, but I've had some other things going on. So I was... <laughs> just worked on it whenever I could but here's some progress pictures of what it looked like before I started halfway through and then you guys will see the final in this video and so once you have it secured down to your fabric it dries within seconds and you just go in and cut it with your scissors like so I had some larger scissors but it was so hard to get it underneath the yarn to cut it and that's it. And so once I'm done, I do a trim. I try to do them row by row and it makes it easier. And this is why I like the shorter pieces, like I said, about seven inches, seven to eight inches, is because it's the glue doesn't dry um, before I have a chance to put it down on the fabric. But when I was doing the longer strips, it was drying. 
and I'm spacing it probably about a half an inch. Can you guys see that? The space is probably about a half an inch. When I started this side here, uh oh, can't see it on the camera. Let me scoot this so I can show you what I'm talking about. When I did this side here, um, you can see it is much fuller and I was putting it too close together, too, too close together that it was taking longer than what it should. So I just spaced it out and I like this much better. So yeah, I have one piece down and then I'm gonna just keep going and all you do is just repeat the process. I have these gaps up here so I am going to cut some smaller pieces of cardboard so I'll just cut it in half after I measure it and then fill in those gaps I'm almost done look like I need probably about six more pieces and also try not to wrap them around the cardboard um, too tight because it'll make it hard to get the scissors underneath it to cut it. Ask me how, no. <laughs> done <laughs> I have probably about one more row to complete and then I have some gaps that I need to fill in so for those shorter gaps I'm going to use these smaller pieces here which is what I cut so I can fill those in as I mentioned earlier I was using a longer piece about 12 inches to wrap the yarn around the problem that I was having with that is the glue was drying before I had a chance to lay it down on the fabric so I think the shorter pieces work best I use a stick pin to hold these in place you don't have to do that you can tie a knot um, on your first piece or you can just wrap the yarn around itself. I've done that, but it comes apart. So I'm just going to use the stick pans and I'm sticking it straight through the cardboard and not out the back of it. Uh, so yeah. And then all you do is just wrap it around the yarn. I, I make about 20 pieces of cardboard and just do row by row. And that's it. 
pillows are really easy to make. Um, that's probably one of the first things that my mom showed me when she taught me how to sew was pillows. I used to make clothes for my dolls, blankets for my doll. And I would just use like old clothes. <laughs> and then sometimes we have fabric to get from the fabric store. Yeah, but I love crafting. So yeah, I've been on sabbatical since November 1st through December 31st. And it has been nice to be still. The whole month of November, I was at the same campground. At the end, um, they had some crafting projects in the lodge. So I got a chance to participate in some of those crafting projects. Learn jewel painting, which is a lot of fun. You use these jewel pieces. And I'll show you that in another video because I got a kit so that I can work on it. You take these little pieces of jewels and you match it up with the number or the alphabet that's on the fabric. You have a very beautiful piece of art. Um, some of the material is a cloth material so you can sew it onto a tote bag you can sew it onto your purse anything you need to sew it onto a pillow so this is it this is all i've been doing <laughs> just sitting here relaxing enjoying this time if you've messaged me or called me i have not responded i'm not ignoring you but i am ignoring you i'm ignoring everyone I wanted the last 61 days of this year to be still. I am very introverted. I've talked about that in previous videos. This year, I've peopled a lot <laughs> and I overstimulated myself. It was a great year, but I did overstimulate myself by attending one too many events and just going. So it was nice to be still and not do much. I'm glad this pillow is almost done and when I get finished I'll go through and fluff it out and then trim for this pillow I haven't even used a whole bundle of yarn so this pink is this pink on here I got a nice pillow for around three dollars I think I paid maybe a dollar fifty or maybe two dollars maybe two dollars for this yarn I've been having it for about a year so I think I paid maybe two dollars for the yarn and then three dollars three or five dollars for the fabric and I was able to make two pillows I also started a a Christmas stocking <laughs> so I'm making a Christmas stocking I'm not gonna have it finished for this video because I'm decorating today but I'll show you guys in a later video how the Christmas stocking turned out. So from one yard of material, I made two pillows, a Christmas stocking, and I still have material left. I was thinking about making a teddy. I was thinking about making a pillow for teddy. So we have to see. I don't know. I have just enough to make a small pillow. Crafting is therapeutic. I can do this all day long. What are your favorite Christmas movies? Comment below. I want to know. I've already started binge watching some of my favorites like Home Alone, uh, Christmas with the Cranks, Christmas Vacation. Who doesn't love Chevy Chase? So I've been watching some of those movies. Um, I got Elf uh, with Will Ferrell. It's all right. <laughs> uh, let's see what I have. I have Jingle All the Way. I think that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. I'm trying to think. Home Alone, I have one and two. What other movies have I been watching? Oh, Bad Moms. <laughs> Bad Moms 2. Bad Moms 2. So I've been watching that. All right, so I'm going to finish making these off camera. And then I will come back when I'm done.
<laughs> it's done. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's all done. All right. So all I need to do now is just step it. I left a little slit in the side of it. Uh, see, that's picking up. Left a little slit, uh, large enough to get my hand in. <laughs> and I'm just going to stuff it. Uh -oh. So I went through and gave it a little trim. Make sure that it's even or somewhat even. Yeah. Looks good. I have a stick to push this um, filler all the way to the top of the pillow, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't have a clue where it is. So my pillow may be a little lumpy, but it's okay. I could use my ruler, but I don't even know where that is. <laughs> It's starting to take shape. Can you see it's all fluffy? And then I have this bottom half. So my pillow is all done. All I need to do now is close up this hole. And I normally sew it together, but for this video, I'm gonna just uh, hot glue it together. So all I did was take my fabric fold it on the inside to make it nice and neat and then I'm going to add some glue and that's it Let's see. Ah. I'm getting glue on my table I had put the glue gun and cardboard away because I was going to sew it but instead just glue it together. It'll be faster because I hand sew all of my pillows. I don't have a sewing machine or a handheld sewing machine. And I don't mind hand sewing the pillows. I sit and sew. It forces me to be still. <laughs> and that I like. Oh, that was much quicker than sewing. All right. So my pillow is a little lumpy <laughs> because I don't have my stick to move the uh, filler around, but that's okay because it's going behind my regular pillow. All right, so that's it for the pillow. I am going to start decorating. Yay. And actually, let me turn it around. Well, can you guys see that? I'll give you a close up. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the snow. One horse open sleigh Over the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to laugh and sing A sleighing song tonight Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells Thank you. 
To hang up my garland, I'm using these small little clips and I put some um, Gorilla tape on the back side of it. I love the way that my table turned out. So cute. <laughs> I have three different garlands. I'm going to hang them all on the same hook. I'm thinking about, and you guys comment below and let me know, I'm thinking about making a solid color gar um, garland instead of using this one here. I have yarn so I can make small pom-poms. I have pink, blue, and white. I think those are the three colors that I have left. Oh, and yellow. So I could do yellow. So, no, yellow wouldn't match. So maybe pink, blue, or white. So comment below and let me know if I should make a pom-pom garland out of a solid color instead of using this one here. I was on the fence. I couldn't decide. So we'll see after I hang it up. All right. Have you guys started decorating for Christmas? Comment below. I want to know. Or are you last-minute decorators? <laughs> So that's a look at just one of the garland. So tell me how you like having one garland versus two and versus three. Comment below. I want to know. I'm thinking this second one here needs to hang a little bit lower i don't want to bump the camera or move the camera so i'm going to hang these up look at it and then make any adjustments that i need to make i can't tell if i'm in the frame of the camera or not So how do you guys like it with just the two garlands so far? Let me try to get out of the frame of the camera so you guys can get a good picture of it. I don't have much space and I don't want to bump the camera. Uh, okay, so how do you guys like it with the two garlands um, versus the one? And then I'm going to hang the third garland and see how that looks. So that's how it looks with three garlands. So comment below, let me know if you like just the one garland or if I should go one and two or one, two and three and if I should leave the third one as is or put in a solid pink, a solid blue or a solid white. So comment below, <laughs> I know that's a lot, but comment below and let me know. I think I like all three. Ooh, that looks cute. I think I like all three. The only thing is I need to, um, I think I need to put up a second hook. Because I don't think those are going to stay. Especially that third garland. Okay. Got this one sticky on my hand. Alright, so that's it on the garland. I love it. And... Now I need to hang my picture and then work on the kitchen. Okay, so I want to show you the tape that I'm using for my hooks. Can you guys see that? So just Gorilla tape. And I'm using it for my hooks and picture frame. So this was the previous tape that was up there holding up this picture. So this one has a hook on it. I'm going to put the tape on here. I don't know if it's going to stay or not. If it does fall, then I'm just going to leave it like that. And that looks good too. Hmm. 
Y'all want to hang that? I'm going to hang it and see how it looks. So you know what? I'm putting this on here, but I got a feeling that it's not going to stay <laughs> and that it's going to fall. And if it does, then I'm just going to leave it like this versus putting it back on the wall. I can't tell if this is... Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to hang it. I just realized this sticks out too far. Crap. So I can't hang it. I don't mind covering this up. But see, it's not going to work. Okay. So We ain't wasting no tape. <laughs> this Gorilla Tape is not cheap. So I'm not wasting it. I'll use it for something else. And... The sign is just going to go like that. Works for me. Looks cute. Thumbs up if it looks cute. I am loving the way the van looks. All right. Now moving on to the kitchen. Ooh, first I need to, I got a bow for Teddy. So let me dress him up. So I have this pretty ribbon here. It's pink, green, blue, well, hot pink, baby pink, blue, and green. So I'm going to change out Teddy's. Um, bow from October. I decorated um, the van in October with orange, black, and white colors. I filmed it. I did a cooking video and I hated it. So I didn't show it. I hated the video. But I did decorate in October. Ooh, this is so pretty. I might make me a headband out of this ribbon. This is a really pretty color. So I decided not to decorate my bedroom this year. So there's not going to be any decorations other than this bow on Teddy's neck. I only wanted to decorate um, the dining room and the kitchen. Yep. All right. So that's it. <laughs> Teddy got a colorful bow. That's the only decorations for the bedroom. <laughs> that is it. You guys see these lemons? I got this from my neighbor behind me. He has a lemon tree. And so he gave me these lemons. He said he has the best lemons in the RV park. So let me show you his lemon tree. I haven't eaten them yet, but they do smell good. Let me show you that. These are all the lemon trees. I've never seen lemons that big in my life. He said they're not quite ready, that it'd take another couple of weeks. He has the best lemons in the whole RV park. It's hard to see what size they are. I don't want to get too close. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. They are big. Let me finish decorating now. So I'm going to move my, I don't know where I'm going to put these lemons, but for now I'm going to move them out of the way. I think this is going to go here. And then move the candle. And I have this Velcro to the counter. <laughs> I have it Velcroed to my counter. So. That piece doesn't want to come up. I'm going to put some plastic over it so that nothing else sticks to it. I can't get that piece up. And I don't feel like playing with it today. Oops. Breaking stuff. <sighs> I have some of the best neighbors, best neighbors here. This is a 55 and older RV park. And I'll talk about it more whenever I do a tour of this campground. I will put together a video at some point and give you guys a tour of this campground. Do you have a lot of footage of the campgrounds that I stayed at this year? So I'm going to work on putting those videos together and showing you guys some of the campgrounds and my reviews on the campgrounds. So this sign, it's staying here. Let's see what else I have in there. Oh.
you guys remember from last year i had three green trees here so i wanted something colorful so i'm using these trees here and i think they're so cute i think that's how i'm gonna leave it like that got these here for my stockings once i get that stocking completed i share a picture under the community tab and if you guys missed my thanksgiving photo at the beach i shared it under the thing under the community tab so check that out all right let's see what else i got oh i got some uh, i think i just broke my candy bar I have some holiday treats for my stocking so once I get it completed I am going to hang my stocking up here with the garland and these are some of my favorites I love Sour Patch Kids my favorite candy bar is Hershey's so I got the Hershey bar and then a word fine puzzle a candy cane some cocoa and then some peppermint bark most of this is going to go in my stocking once I finish it. So that's it for the decorating portion of the video. I am going to make some sugar cookies. I wanted to make this um, gingerbread house, but I'm going to wait to do that on a day, um, like early in the day. It's kind of late in the evening, so I'm not going to start that project. But I do have some sugar cookies here that I'm going to make in my air fryer. I have some cookie cutters and then some fun sprinkles look how cute those are i found those at home goods so yeah i'm going to make some sugar cookies so that's it for the decorating portion of the video i'll give you guys a tour of the van at the end of this video Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate your support. I missed you. I'm so excited to be back on the front side of this camera because I really miss talking to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that that notification bell is turned on. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All of my neighbors have their Christmas lights up. I'm the only one that don't have my lights up. So I'm gonna hang up my lights. And then my neighbor here has up their Christmas lights. They all look nice. And then there's Christmas lights down here. Somebody has a Christmas tree over here. I like the way that turned out.